This is a story about Mr. Daydream. You know what he looks like, don't you? Because you've seen him at the beginning. It's also a story about a little boy called Jack. And you don't know what he looks like, so here's a picture of him. Now, Jack was a very well-behaved little boy. He always ate up his lunch, he always went to bed when he was told, he always said please and thank you. But Jack was a daydreamer. Whenever he was supposed to be thinking about something, he found himself thinking about something else. Daydreaming. One day, Jack was at school. He was sitting at his desk, listening to the teacher talking about history. Suddenly, out of the corner of his eye, Jack saw something outside the window on the grass in front of the school. It was a small, cloud-shaped something. Jack couldn't believe his eyes. The figure looked at Jack, looking at him, smiled and waved. Jack looked at his teacher, who was still talking. And then he got up, quietly, ever so quietly, and slipped out. He crossed the grass to the strange-looking, cloud-shaped figure. Hello, he said. Who are you? Oh, oh I'm Mr. Daydream, said the figure. What's your name? Jack, said Jack. I'm, uh, I'm going off on an adventure, Mr. Daydream said to Jack. Would you like to come with me? Oh, yes, please, replied Jack. Very well, then, said Mr. Daydream. And putting two fingers in his mouth, he let out the loudest whistle Jack had ever heard in his whole life. A huge bird swooped down out of the sky and landed beside Jack and Mr. Daydream. Come on, said Mr. Daydream to Jack, and climbed onto the bird's back. Jack climbed on too. It was really an enormous bird, and there was plenty of room for both of them. Hold on, said Mr. Daydream. Jack held on, tight. The huge bird flapped its huge wings, and suddenly they were high up in the air. They flew over fields and farms and towns and hills and trees and valleys until they were far, far away from Jack's school. It was very exciting. Mr. Daydream turned to Jack. How would you like to go to Africa? He shouted. They were travelling so fast now that Jack just nodded his head and held on even tighter. And suddenly, it seemed in no time at all, there below them was Africa. The bird landed in a jungle clearing. Jack and Mr. Daydream climbed off the bird's back. It was very hot. Come on, said Mr. Daydream to Jack. Let's go and explore. So off they set, pushing their way through the jungle. Suddenly, in the middle of a clearing, they saw an elephant. Hello, Mr. Daydream the elephant down its trunk. Would you like a lift? Yes, please, replied Mr. Daydream. And the elephant reached out its trunk, picked him up, and then put him on his back. Then he reached out its trunk again, picked up Jack, and put him on his back. It's very high. The elephant carried them through the jungle until they came to a river. Then he set them down on the ground, said, Bye, bye, and went off into the jungle. How are we going to cross the river? Jack asked Mr. Daydream. Perhaps I can be of assistance, said a particularly oily voice coming up from the river. They looked, and there was a crocodile. Use my back, suggested the crocodile. It was very helpful. They were halfway across the river on the crocodile's back when the crocodile grinned a rather nasty grin. All teeth and no smile. Then, flicking his enormous tail and shooting Jack and Mr. Daydream up into the air, the crocodile opened his horribly large mouth and waited. It was very frightening. Oh, dear, gasped Jack, as he looked down at that enormous mouthful of teeth. Oh, dear. Oh, help. Mr. Daydream, upside down beside him, put two fingers in his mouth and let out that very large whistle of his. <whistles> Suddenly, just as the crocodile's mouth was about to go snap, Big bird swooped down out of the sky. Mr. Daydream and Jack landed right on the bird's back. Whew, said Jack. 
spoiled again, said the crocodile. Well, <laughs> I promised you an adventure, didn't I? grinned Mr. Daydream. You certainly did, said Jack. And now, said Mr. Daydream, I think we'll go to Australia. They did. And Jack learned to throw a boomerang, so that it always came back to him. Now, said Mr. Daydream, I think we'll go to the North Pole. And they did. And Mr. Daydream fell right up to his middle in a snowdrift. And now, said Mr. Daydream, I think we'll go to the Wild West. And they did. And Mr. Daydream found a huge ten-gallon cowboy hat. The trouble was, when he put it on, he couldn't see out. Jack! He called from underneath the hat. Jack! Jack! Suddenly, Jack realized that it wasn't Mr. Daydream saying his name. It was his teacher. And Jack wasn't in the Wild West. He was sitting at his school desk. Jack, said the teacher again. You've been daydreaming. It was true. He had. <laughs> or had he? Thank you.